Welcome viewers to today's ministration, Oasis Hour Prayer Time. God bless you for joining us today again. May the Lord be with you abundantly. Our pastor, Pastor Edna, has been away. She sent her greetings to you. She's going to join us as Christ tarried for uh, next week. Today, we're quickly going to share um, and also pray intensely regarding what they call altars. We're going to pray regarding what they call altars. Altars that are speaking against you, breaking down and pulling down altars. Pulling any demonic altars that are standing against you or your family. So we are going to go into serious business today. You understand? Through prayer, we're going to pull down strong oaths and altars that are against us today. So we get here and there a few Bible scripture, but we're going to go seriously pulling down and dealing and destroying evil altars. But before we do that, we're quickly going to read the book of Psalm 2. We're going to read the book of Psalm 2. Psalm 2 was written by our brother, by our um, the man that is after God's own heart, David. He said, why do the hidden rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The king of the earth said themselves, and the ruler take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cause from us. He that sitteth in heaven shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in their region, then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasure. Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. I will declare the decree the Lord all set unto me. Thou art my son, this day have I begotten. In the acts of me, I shall give thee the hidden for thy inheritance, and the utmost part for the earth for thy possession. He said, Thou shalt break them with the rod of iron, that shall dash them to pieces with like a potter's vessel. He said, Be wise now, therefore, O ye kings, be instructed. Ye judges of the earth, serve the Lord with fear, and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the son, lest he be angry, and ye perish from the way when his right is king to better little. He said, Blessed are all they that put their trust in him. Today, we are into a serious business. We're going to pray and pull down those strongholds. There are strongholds of stagnancy, there are strongholds of delay, there are strongholds of sickness, there are strongholds of persecution, there are strongholds of trial, there are strongholds of temptation, there are strongholds of wickedness, there are strongholds of darkness, there are strongholds of evil, there are strongholds, you know, that are perpetrating and manipulating, there are strongholds of manipulations, there are evil strongholds, there are strongholds that are coming from the north, south, west, and east today, we're going to pull them down through prayer. Now, why is Santo Santo? The Lord revealed it to me, the Lord gave it to me, you know, and uh, I... <laughs> When I was reading Psalm 2 and I said, Father, what does that mean? But today God wants us to specifically speak about it. He said the man after his own heart spoke about Psalm 2. He said, Psalm 2, he said, if you go to Acts chapter 4, verse 24 and 26, he's going to tell you more the attributes of this man who wrote the book of Psalm 2, you know, and of course, if you get it from Psalm 1, he said, it's a blessed, it's a man that do not sit in the councils of the wicked. So today, we are going to go straight into prayer. We are going to go straight into prayer. What are we doing? We're going to pull down strongholds. We're going to pull down strongholds. The strongholds that are sitting upon your blessing, the strongholds that are sitting upon the, upon the movements of your life, the strongholds that are sitting upon your prosperity. Today, we're going to pull them down in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, in Judges chapter 6 verse 25 to 28, it said that night the Lord said unto him take your father's bowl and the second bowl the seven years and pull down the altars of Baal. It said that your father has and cut down the assurance that is beside it and build an altar to the Lord your God on top of the stronghold there. He said the stones led into in other. Then take the second bowl and offer it as a burnt offering with the wood of the ashram that you shall cut them so Gideon took the ten men of his servants and did as the Lord had told him to do. But because he has too afraid of his family and the men and the town, it's a what they will say about him. It's a way when it was very, very early in the morning. The altar were broken down. You know, the things were destroyed. They were cut to pieces. Today, we are going to cut down to pieces. Uh, any evil altar that has been stagnating your presence, uh, 
any evil altar that has been holding bound your blessings up, any evil altar that has been stopping your marriage, any evil altar that has been made manipulating your destiny, today we are going to pull them down. So, oh Lord, my Father, we thank you that today over any evil altar, Santa Yeshua Hamashiach, Yeshua. Father, today we cover ourselves, cover this platform, cover every of our viewers with the blood of Jesus. Evil altars be broken, evil altars be broken, evil altars be broken, evil altars that is chanting evil against us be broken. The God of the Father, Son of the Holy Spirit, God, appear in our midst today. We Father, anything that has been holding you, the blessings of your children to ransom, break and scatter, break and scatter, break and scatter in Jesus' name. In Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 10, it says, See, I've set thee this deal over the nation, over the kingdom, to pluck out her. To pull down and say to destroy and overthrow all those evil planters against you, against your family, against your prosperity, against your movements. Oh Lord, my Father, any form of evil that is in just size against your children, break and scatter in the mighty name of Jesus. In James chapter 4, verse 7, it says, Submit yourself, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will free for you. It says, Be humble in his presence, be humble. In Ephesians chapter 6, verse 7, it says, Take up the armament of salvation, the sword of the spirit. It, which is the word of God that we shall pull down the stronghold sky. So any evil stronghold, any parts of darkness that has been sitting against you, anything that has been chanting evil against you and the family, against you and your children, against you and the parents, against you and your workplace, against you and the ministry, we pull down your strongholds in Jesus' name. Say, oh Lord, my Father, we thank you, God, that the Lord say, I have built my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Any spirit of spirit of death and hell, fair against your life. Oh Lord, my Father, will pull down the strongholds in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you for today. We exalt and magnify your name because you are the King of Kings. What is that altar that is standing against you? Which is the evil altar that has been standing? Say, Lord, I pull them down, pull them down, pull them down, pull them down, pull them down in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. Father, we thank you. We thank you because in the book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 24, it says, an altar of the earth you shall make for me a sacrifice it on the abundance of free, a peace of free now. Today we bring a peace of free upon the OSS platform. Uh, anything that stands against uh, the will of God upon your life uh, that has been chanting and pre programming their evil altar in the heavens against you, programming the evil altars uh, in the marine against you, programming the evil altars uh, on the land against you, programming their evil altars, uh, even the vicinity that you labor, programming an evil altar by the time. Tree. Lord, we pull down their strongholds uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 5 said, Build the houses, uh, live in them, plant the gardens, uh, eat their fruit. Very well, uh, the Lord shall give to you what the canker wants and the palmer wants uh, have eaten uh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, today we pray, Jesus Christ, uh, that anything that has been sitting against your blessings, uh, we pull down their strongholds uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, Yeshua Kodesh, uh, every evil door that is against you, we pull down their in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, say, Oh God, we command the judgment of oppressors uh, over your life, uh, over your territory to debound them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, uh, evil altars, uh, evil altars from your father's side, uh, evil altars from your mother's side uh, against your life. Uh, pull them. We say we withdraw our name from from such evil altar. So withdraw your name. Uh, withdraw the name of your family. That those evil altars that has been chanting evil against you. We grab by far. We grab by far. We grab by far. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, it looked. Chapter 2, verse 10 and 11, he said, And the angel of the Lord said, Told them not to be afraid. I said, Behold, I'll give you good news, great joy. He said, The Lord already of God has given to you the city of David in the mighty name of Jesus. Brother, I pray the oasis hour is pulling down strongholds. This is the time and the season, sir. You have to know the sons of Issachar, they know the time and the season, sir. So he said, Oh Lord, give me insight to this time. Give me insight to this time. Hold on, every evil stronghold, sir. Any evil altar of my foundation, any evil altar in my territory, any evil altar in my environment, pull down their evil strongholds in Jesus' name. Daddy, we thank you. I commit Pastor Edna to your care. 
God. I commit all the pastors with you as a support on the, unto the king for the bless them, oh God. Bless their home, promote them in Jesus' name, oh God. That is from today, hands for that. Father, we say any evil altar that is standing against us uh, in our home, uh, in our career, uh, in our ministry, in our family, uh, with our children, oh God. Oh Lord, I go in our foundation, Jesus. Uh, Baba, we pull down the strongest uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, brethren, it is well with you as you go this week. Uh, may the Lord bless you, sir. May the Lord promote you. May the Lord anoint you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, uh -huh. Philippians chapter 4, verse 13 says, You can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. You can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. Go and prosper. Go and be promoted in Jesus' name. God shall call favor to your name. Uh, any disfavor we cancel. Any parts of darkness we cancel. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, Daddy, we thank you for today. We exalt and magnify your name, oh God. Thank you, Lord, because it is well with us, God. In Jesus' name we pray. F Father, we thank you for today. I thank you for all the ministers. I thank you for this period. We break every power of death, oh God, that is pronounced against anyone, oh God, here in Jesus' name. Look, I see somebody, the Lord, lifting you all for out from those dungeons. I see the Lord blessing you abundantly with a good job. Huh? I see the Lord promoting you to another level. I see God pulling that strongholds. Huh? Those evil authors that has been chanting your name. Huh? You see, that altar is catch fire right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Huh? That altar has been caught with fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Huh? Daddy, we thank you. We exalt you. Any meeting that is over within and around huh? that is not without your consent, huh? we send the Holy Ghost fire to consume them to ashes. Huh? So, all of my father. He said, he who is in us is greater than he who is in the world. First John 4, 4. Daddy, we thank you. And so John chapter 10, verse 10 say, he said, the chief come to steal, kill, and destroy. May your father come to give you life eternal and abundantly. May you have those things that God has destined for your life uh, abundantly in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, Yeshua Kodesh. Uh, we exalt and magnify your name. Uh, Daddy, anything that is programmed uh, ahead of the future, ahead of the future, ahead of this year, ahead of this month, uh, against your children. We pull them those three evil altar in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you because we are overcome. Thank you because it is what we are talking about. In the mighty name of Jesus. Go and prosper. Go and be blessed. Love you and I will see you next week. Myself and Pastor Edna will see you next week in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord shall be an overcomer in your dream. The Lord is going to help you pull down and destroy those evil altar that has been raining and singing evil against you. That has been setting roadblocks from today henceforth. He said he's going to pull them away. In Jesus name we pray. God bless you and see you next week. Pastor Esther, bye for now. God bless you.